Good morning and welcome to the Hope Community Church vlog, episode number 26, I think. Anyway, we've been going through the book of Philippians and uh, having a great time doing it and just seeing what God has to say to us through this incredible book that the Apostle Paul wrote while he was in prison to the church in Philippi who were struggling uh, as much as, as Paul was and suffering the same kinds of things as the Apostle Paul had been. We're going to get straight into our passage for today. It's, it's a cracker and really sets up the rest of the book. So it's Philippians 1 from verse 27. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then when I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved and that by God, for it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him. Since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had and now here that I still have. So much in this, and it really is the jumping point for the rest of the letter of, of Philippians. But it was interesting, it's a lot about suffering here, right? And it says something quite phenomenal in verse 29. For it's been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, and we get that, right? Wow, Christ has granted us that we might believe in him. That's so good. But also to suffer for him. Here's a church who are being persecuted. And it looks like Paul is saying, and I think he is saying, you have been given the privilege of suffering for Christ. Elsewhere, Paul talks about participating in the sufferings of Christ. That actually, for the Christian who perseveres under hardship for the name of Jesus, it's a badge of honour. We must pray for our Christian brothers and sisters in persecuted countries. that They would stand firm for the gospel. Look how he starts the passage. Whatever happens, whatever happens, rain or shine, whatever happens, whether you're sick, whether you're well, whatever happens, whether you love your job or whether you hate your job, whatever happens, whether you're happy in your family life or family life's really hard, whatever happens, whether you're married or you really wish you were married, you really wish you weren't married, or you used to be married. Whatever happens, whether we're out and able to go out and have fun and go to school and play sport, or whether we're under lockdown and coronavirus, whatever happens in whatever situation, or well, what comes next, conduct yourself worthy of the gospel of Christ. This is his command really for the rest of the letter. Conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ in whatever situation you're in, in a way that is, is worthy of the gospel of Christ. If you think about an ambassador, an ambassador is sent to another country in order to represent that country. So we have ambassadors all over the world in various different countries. They represent the queen. They represent us. He's saying, conduct yourself as if you're representing Jesus. An ambassador, they have to watch how they live because they represent the people of England, the people of the United Kingdom. So they won't live in certain ways because it will look bad on the UK, look bad on the Queen. And they will do certain things because they know it will bring honour to the Queen. Friends, we're not just ambassadors of the Queen, we're ambassadors of the, of the living God. Conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the Gospel. And Paul says, when you do that, I, I just boast about you. I love it. I love it when you do that. I know that you stand firm in one spirit, striving together. You know what brings dishonour to the gospel of Christ is disunity. It's Christian brothers and sisters arguing and fighting and not getting on. Is there anyone in, in the church or in another church that you've got a bit of a feud with at the moment? Where there's bitterness or unforgiveness in your heart? What are you going to do with that? How can you get rid of that? How can you conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel? I want to encourage you guys 
whatever situation and you might be loving life at the moment i was speaking to someone the other day and they're just loving the fact they're in lockdown spending time with their family they don't normally get to do it and that's great what does it look like for you to conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel as an ambassador of christ but actually in the hard times maybe you're struggling at the moment still how do you conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel what are you going to do what do you need to stop doing and that's something we can all reflect on maybe you're really struggling feeling really lonely and, and you're finding yourself just venting on social media or drinking too much Maybe you're, you feel yourself becoming more selfish as you spend time away from people. Maybe you're just kind of closing yourself off and you're not looking out to how you can serve others. How do you in this season conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ? And you know, for some of us, and I think what he's saying here for the Philippians is that just means keeping going. I mean, getting up and choosing to follow Jesus. Yes, I'm going to trust Jesus today. Yes, I'm going to believe in Jesus today. Yes, I'm not going to slip and fall today. Yes, I'm, I'm not going to let the doubt come in today. Yes, I'm not going to let the persecution knock me off today. Standing firm in the spirit. Maybe that's what it looks like for you to conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel. Just to stand firm. Just to not give up. Not give in today. And so, Father, I want to pray that you give us strength to stand firm, know what that looks like for each of us. In Jesus' name, amen.